Hello my soccer universe. Well, it is rare that I wear a team that is already in the thumbnail, but I have barely been wearing any Portuguese shirts in my Iberian reviews. So, sporting is this and I gotta say, it's a pretty awesome shirt uh, of a team that has been pretty awesome this season. Again, not as convincing maybe as last season so far, but you know in the Champions League, uh, edging out Dortmund in convincing fashion um, and now in the league. Winning the Derby, really, really, really impressive for sports, sports what they're doing. Although in Portugal, we will see there's also COVID again. Showed a little bit uh, the ugly face there. And as for Spain, if you are like Los Blancos, although here they are hanging in blue, they had the perfect week. Los Blancos beat all the Basque, the major Basque teams. Uh, six points, clear on top of the table. And it's also aided that the uh, two big rivals of Real Madrid, namely Athletic and Barcelona, both managed to lose at home. And do you see this? Yes, you saw it in the unpacking video. The Real Mallorca is the winner in Spain, so they are high up there as well. And yeah, they beat Atleti. So pretty remarkable stuff uh, there. Um, we'll talk a little bit about it but as i said we gotta start in portugal as we usually do because i wanna put a little bit spotlight on there and we there is a good chance we have three three portuguese teams in the round of 16 in the champ in the, in the champions league which would be unprecedented but it's not uh unfathomable actually i think they're favored everywhere uh to advance sporting is already through but we um, need to just get i think a point uh, or if they win against Kiev, that will do it. And Porto also need to just uh, beat Atleti. So I think at home. So all doable, I would say. Porto got a win away at Porto Monange. And then, as I said, uh, Sporting. I watched a good portion of the derby until it was uh, was kind of out of hand because it was a very late kick kickoff, um, and Sarabia put them ahead. In a, you know it, it started open and then Sporting just took uh, got the first for her goal and then hit counter attack after counter attack and Benfica had a really hard time get, getting in. And just before for the half, uh, Paulinho seemingly had made it two nil, uh, but. Mm, was not meant to be, it was uh, fractionally offside. Um, so they were already a better team, but then they really found another gear in, in, in the second half. There was a period where Benfica was really, really pushing. And they had a pretty big chance to make it 1-1. And from the ensuing count uh, Mateusz, uh, uh Mateusz plays to Paulinho 2-0. That was the game. A little bit later, uh, Matthias himself makes it 3 0, and at that point, he could have gotten really, really, really ugly. Uh, however, it didn't, and very late, late on, Pitti uh, pulls a goal uh, back. But you know, Benfica, who I thought had hit, uh, starting to hit the stride now, mm, a little bit down in sporting. That's a pretty impressive win over in Benfica side. And as, it, as uh, you'll see in the stats cast, which will come uh, Tuesday. Sporting and Porto are now the teams that are up top, so uh, pretty interesting stuff happening there as well. Um, we had, you know, uh, the other games, Braga winning against the Sturil, I, I, I think is of, is of interest. And then two games had to be postponed uh, to uh, the first week of January, or basically at the beginning of January. Uh, and I assume, I don't know for sure, I assume it's because of Covid cases. I mean, Belenenge would make sense there. So going over to La Liga, as I said, we had um, uh, in, in the midweek Real Madrid beating Athletic Club, uh, a game that never should have ended with Real Madrid win, because Athletic Club really tried their best to get an equalizer after Benzema pulled uh, Real up. And this was a game that was actually made for Athletic Club to make something. They had more rest, they were uh, they are the hardest running team, Real Madrid a little bit uh tired in any in, 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 in case it would have been no one would could have really complained if uh real madrid would not win this one i uh, would uh, yeah would not win the win this one but they win it Benzema and if athletic club uh convert their chance they could have gone out all out, out, out of the so real madrid like a champion Carlo and Angel did might not well work well in Europe, may or may not, because I don't think that the Real Madrid style is kind of a little bit slow, slow paced, except for Vinicius Jr., who is a rocket, and there's a lot of individual brilliance in that midfield, which is still overall probably the best midfield in Spain, I gotta say. So, um, 
he gets it working. He finds the balance. It is not flashing in, in, in any way, but it will do for, for the league. And I think, uh, to me, Real Madrid are the huge favorites uh, to win this season, um, which was underlined by the results on Saturday. And uh, as I'm sure is, I don't have the Monday evening results, so we'll talk about the results. I mean, Sevilla beating Villarreal basically um, keeps Sevilla up there. I think they're moving now even up to uh, second spot with this result. Uh, just let me check on that one to make absolutely sure. Yes, Se Sevilla are in second at the moment. So um, maybe the only challenger challenges, but then uh, whatever happened Saturday afternoon uh, and early evening was just made for Real Madrid uh, there. First Barcelona, um, yeah, first loss under Xavi. What can I say? Barcelona looked awful. <laughs> in many ways i mean even in the highlights you could see it was not good showing at all and uh, i don't know who told xavi that dembele is a great player because uh, he looked awful uh, even more so and then juan me in the 79th gives betis uh, i think a first win at barca in a long 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 time it's only one goal i mean betis barca i think was always the uh, is, is kind of the match with the most goals so only one goal is a little bit disappointing uh, and then in the evening, Atletico Madrid knocking on the door. Finally, Matias Cunha gives them the breakthrough. And you think they're going to cruise Atleti style to the win? No. Nope. Real Mallorca. Real Mallorca pulled one out uh, to Ru Russo uh, in the 80th. They get an equalizer and a stoppage time. Uh, <laughs> Kubo is getting a winner for Mallorca, pretty big win for them as, as, as well in the fight against relegation. Uh, so they are now more or less midfield, still slightly relegation threatened, one has to say, but uh, it looks actually quite good. And I will, will be able this jersey will also stay on for next season. So I would love to see that. And then in the evening, again, you think Real Sociedad has a little bit more time, although I was a little bit worried because Real Sociedad for all the praise that is heaped upon them, that they are this uh, fun side to watch, they're not scoring goals. At home, I think they have never scored more than one goal this season, which is pretty bad, honestly. And yeah, uh, it was played in typical Basque uh, winter conditions, rain, 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 rain. Rasos that maybe in the first half had a little bit more of the game, just a little bit, maybe. However, in the second half, uh, Real Madrid then completely took it to another level. Vinicius Jr. again scoring the goal. Assisted by Luka Jovic, who came on for an injured Bonsema. So let's see what that will uh, mean. And then he scores uh, his goal. Uh, and he had a hard time at, uh, at Real Madrid so, so far. So maybe this will take him to the next level as well. So we got to see uh, there. Uh, as for yesterday's game, I... You know, uh, interesting result, Levante still cannot win. Uh, have eight draws and eight losses and still at bottom of the table. So if they would draw, uh, turn some of those in wins, I would not, worried, uh, would not be worried about Levante. Uh, Celta Vigo had a 1-0 lead and then kind of threw it away and gifted Valencia an away win as well late on. Just saw that my microphone went out. I don't know why, but you know, so be it. Uh, please let me know what you thought about what was happening in the Iberian Peninsula this weekend. Uh, drop a line below if you want to add anything. Give me a thumbs up if you want to um, uh, see, uh, if you like this video and if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see the numbers and the, the result of the Monday game, there will be a stats cast count coming out on Tuesday. So uh, there you will have all the probabilities and so on there. Shortish video, but I think that's all right. Um, I will talk to you soon for sure. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!